Tonight, the South Burlington School Board will hold a special meeting to discuss next steps for the district after two of failed attempts to secure a budget for next year. NBC 5's Anna Goober joins us live outside the high school now with some insight from parents you talked to there, Anna. Well, Lauren, it's been a difficult year for districts across the state to form their budgets for next year, and that's because of a new statewide funding education formula, leaving some districts facing up to 20% property tax increases. Here in South Burlington, the latest proposal left voters taking up a close to 14.5% property tax increase, which they say just isn't sustainable. I'm feeling um, mixed feelings. South Burlington voters set to vote a third time on a school budget for the 2025 fiscal year. Two budget proposals have already failed, and now parents, teachers, and administrators are left deeply considering what options are left. Everything is crashing around us, and everything's getting so much more expensive, and the only thing that's not going up is our incomes. A new state funding formula for school budgets across Vermont left neighbors with a massive increase in property taxes in almost every school district, ranging anywhere from 10 to 20 percent, leaving the districts to weigh high cost and property tax increases with the needs of the current education system. I feel like my children are more important and we always find a way to figure out our incomes in the future. Yeah. So I feel like education is probably more important. The original budget proposal was $71 million, but voters rejected it in March on town meeting day. The school board managed to knock off $1.6 million, but that still wasn't enough. Some teachers worry more cuts could create new challenges. The punishment for all of these problems is not going to the people running the schools or running the community, it's going to the kids. Holly Vanderputin, a foreign language teacher in South Burlington, says student clubs, AP classes, and long-standing language programs are all at risk of getting cut. I'm feeling devastated on behalf of the students here. I think that we had a perfect storm of bad budget scenarios. With time running out, some parents say they're prepared to vote in favor, no matter what the number looks like. I wish it was less. Uh, I voted against it the first time and for it the second time. Um, I would love it if they cut the budget, but I doubt they'd cut the right places. We reached out to the superintendent of the district for comment, but she was not available to speak with us in time for this newscast. Now she's expected to hear from the school board tonight at six o'clock at a special meeting on the best ways to move forward with forming a budget for next year. But so far, a date for the next vote has not been set yet. Live in South Burlington, Anna Goober, NBC5 News.